Hello again, this is part 9E of the uh, ham radio uh, license series that I'm doing. And uh, we're going to do a little change of pace and get away from that G5 RV antenna for uh, a little while. This Saturday, the Faulkner County Amateur Radio Club is having a work day uh, outside of town, up on a hill. Uh, they're going to be doing some modifications or upgrades uh, to their repeater uh, site. They're, uh, and I'm not really certain what that's all about again and I'm going to take my little camera I'm going to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to start asking questions and we're going to learn about what a repeater is uh, what it does and uh, basically all about it because I don't know much about it other than it takes a radio signal that comes in and fires it off so it can go a, a little more distance than uh, a little handheld radio would be able to transmit on itself. So it's just a, you know it's just a, it just receives and, and resends uh, people who are talking to one another. So we'll see you uh, Saturday morning at eight o'clock up on the hilltop. Well, here we are on top of the hill. It is uh, oh about a little past uh, quarter to eight in the morning. We're going. I'm going down this little old dirt road, and there's supposed to be a tower out here somewhere. And the club members are supposed to be here. So let's see what we can find here. And we round this bend. Oh, there's some. There's some. Wild. Oh my goodness, we're coming up on something. I do believe this might be it. Well, it does appear that I'm the first one here. So while we're waiting for the others to arrive, I thought I'd. Do a little shoot down in the valley and kind of let you get an idea of how high we're up and what the outskirts of Conway looks like, the town of Conway. And once again, we are with our good friend Glenn King. Now, Glenn, I understand that this tower and this building uh, is on loan to us, and but everything in the building and everything on the tower belongs to the club. Is that true? This is correct. Okay, now, we're here today on top of this hill at uh, 7 minutes after 8. To do what? Why are we here? What's going on? We're putting up an antenna for our uh, newest 450 megahertz repeater. Our newest? Our 400... 70 centimeters repeater. Now, a repeater. Now, th this whole mechanism, what's inside this building and, <clears throat> and the antennas on this tower right here that goes way up... Uh, constitutes probably more than one repeater right there's there are um, three repeaters there's three there. repeaters in this in this whole setup right here yes now this is for people who want to talk further than their handheld uh, handy talkie will allow them to do so what they do is they transmit in here on a given frequency and all the equipment inside this building will change it to another frequency and send it on down the line is that pretty much the way it is okay and there are several of these configurations and setups around this entire area on different hilltops, right? Yes. And they belong to who? Uh, the equipment all belongs to the uh, the club. This club? Yes. Well, now, I was told there are other repeaters located here, there, and everywhere. They, we don't own them all. But... No, but we own uh, uh, approximately... A hundred yards in that direction, we have another facility like this. Uh -huh. There are four more repeaters at that location. Okay, so that belong to the club. We own all this stuff. Yes. Well, that's interesting. Now, beyond the borders of our town and everything, there are other repeaters. Is what I'm trying to get at, yes. right? Now, who owns those? Other clubs? Other clubs, other individuals. Individuals. Groups. Okay. Now, why would an individual buy a repeater? I I, I can't figure that out in my mind. Because they want one. They. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. They just want one, and they set it up as a service. Is that what it is, or well, they use it for can, their own radios? You can. It can be private. A private repeater. You can have a private repeater. No one's allowed to use it except who you say can use. Just so you can get out into the hinderland with your radio. Whatever you want to use it for is what. This is a hobby. We can. If if you pay the money, you can uh -huh. decide who uses okay. it. Now, the way this the way this repeater business works. It's only one person at a time can talk through these antennas, right? I mean, you're basically tying up the antenna the entire time you're transmitting. Is that right? That particular uh, 
repeater, yes. It's, when you're talking, that's it. You're the only one can talk on it. And so, courtesy within the ham radio community, about how much, how long would you talk on a, on a radio and tie it up? You know, just a couple of minutes at a time, a minute at a time. As long as you want to. Well, but what does the courtesy say? I mean, there's got to be some kind of stand. I mean, you wouldn't want to get on there and tie the thing up for two hours. I Why mean, not? Going back and forth with the, you know, with the people, it did you know, 30, okay. 45 minutes. I've heard at least conversations that long. Oh, okay. All right. I was under the impression that, you know, you get on, you talk five, six, eight minutes, and it's kind of a thing. I'll get out of the way and let someone else have their turn. But Well, that, you know, but there's so there's so few users, oh, okay. you I know, see. on there now. So many people, and so there's no big... There's no big rush, and between each transmission, you leave a few seconds pause just yeah. for courtesy. Okay, so if someone wanted so to call, someone yeah, wanted to come oh, in I and see. say, okay. I, I need to call my wife or I need okay. to call somebody. This, this, this no, that's cool. Okay. Now, the uh, you said we're going to add, an, uh, is this an upgrade or an addition we're doing this morning? This is an addition this and, morning. Okay, and we are adding another antenna. Right. And the antenna has not yet arrived yet, is that correct? The antenna has not yet arrived. Yet it will it. replace the antenna that's on a temporary pole at the back of the Oh, fence. that's that one back there? Yes. Oh, okay. And that, and that, and where's that antenna going? It, is it going to be mounted low here or up on the, uh, in the it'll tower? It'll be nearly at the top of this tower here. Okay, and what, what's that antenna called? It's going to be a 70 centimeter uh, uh, antenna for the repeater. Okay, so it'll be a fiberglass antenna so, like like that one, or or like the one that's just up on the tower, short wave. But, uh, but that's a this thing right our, here. That's our emergency. Okay. Uh, repeater antenna. So so we've never had one of these antennas before, other than the one that's back here in the corner. No, not for this particular oh, application. Okay. Involved putting up the antenna, running this cable. Are we going to be running cable from yes, the? We will be it, this isn't it over here, is it? That's awfully yes. heavy cable. That's yeah, it right that's there. It Takes there. that thick of a cable. Well, that's what you want. Well, do that. Okay, we've got a shot of the cable that's going to be running in here. My goodness, that's a, that's a big old. That, is that is that classified as a coax? I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it's, called yeah. a, it's called a heliax. Yeah. A, a heliax, yeah. and uh, it's to handle. Well, why is it so huge? I mean, why is it so thick? It's basically, got a copper tube around a lower center loss. conductor. Just lower, lower loss cable. Low loss cable. Okay, boy, that stuff's big. Just what did you say it was heliax? Heliax, heliax cable. Okay, we're going to walk inside this little building here and look at some of this equipment. Now, all of this equipment, this equipment rack here, everything belongs to the to the Faulkner County Amateur Radio Club. True. 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 And these batteries over here, I suppose, are backup supply. What are these batteries for? That's a backup. Case power goes up. And how many volts are those batteries? There's twelve volt batteries. Twelve volt batteries. And all this equipment works off uh, twelve volts. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Where's the transformer that cuts it all down? Oh, okay. Okay, Three so these are power supplies, supplies then, aren't Those they? Are okay, supplies. okay. These are the repeaters. Uh huh. Here. Three repeaters. Uh huh. And the power supplies that I guess a, a power supply runs each one. Is yes. that thing? What's all this uh, white stuff back here? What's all that? It looks this like filters. Duplexers. <laughs> but they are filters. They're duplexers. Uh, I'm talking about water filters. <laughs> these are, these are Pretty all duplexers. Okay, now what? Explain that what makes a duplexer. Four, four of these cavities makes a duplexer. Okay, tell our YouTube friends out there what are you talking about? What, what do you mean by duplexer? What does that That's mean? That's so you can transmit and receive on the same antenna simultaneously. I see. I see. Man, how much did all this stuff cost? My God, this stuff is. Now, I was told this stuff, equipment here is basically fairly old uh, in terms of modern. Days. Is that true or is this that is not? This is true. Okay. Now, what is this right here? This it's a duplexer. No. Another duplexer up here? Different kind for a different frequency range. Well, this is going to take, I think, more this than... This is another duplexer here for a different frequency range. What would you say duplexer was one more time? It enables people to do what now? It allows the repeater to transmit and receive on, on two different frequencies at the same time. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, let me take a look at the back of this thing, kind of look at all the wires and all the heat sinks and all that stuff. Yeah, look at that mess. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to plug it up. <laughs> All right. Now, and this little jewel up here, what is this a little more modern a, looking thing? This, this repeater here is a control link repeater. It's linked into the, uh, the CAUHF statewide uh, network. CAU, what is that? The CAUHF. That's a club. That, that's another club? That's another club. And where are they located? They're 
all over the state, but oh, Little okay. Rock primarily. C A U H F. H F. That's the club call Central sign. Central Arkansas U H F. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't know what that was. Okay.